Now, another term be called total fuel trim. Now, total fuel trim is adding short term and long term together. For example, if for whatever reason our long term would go 22% positive, so we've learned it over a long period of time, we needed to add 22%, but at a precise moment, we see negative eight on short term, we'll add those two integers together. So negative eight and positive 22 equals positive 14. And here's a tech tip for you already. Rear fuel trim is the O2 sensor, and they're always a switching design, the zero to one volt sensor behind the catalytic converter. So the rear or post cat O2. Rear fuel trim is taking the con in consideration a little bit of variation of how the engine management air fuel can be driven by the rear O2 sensor. Now, in most conditions on vehicles that do use this, this value, it is very minimal. Under certain conditions, like degraded front O2 sensors, rear fuel trim can be very profound. So therefore, if you see a PID for total fuel trim, but you don't see one for rear fuel trim, you see, you see short term, you see long term, and you see total fuel trim. And the total fuel trim does not add up to the short and the long added together. It's a number higher or lower. It's because long-term fuel trim, the after the catalytic converter O2 sensor, is driving that total number for whatever reason. So that's how you can see it if you don't see a PID for rear fuel trim, as many aftermarket or even OE level, but not true factory scan tools, do not show rear fuel trim as a PID. Something to keep in mind when you're doing diagnostics. Look at that total fuel trim, because total fuel trim is what a tech needs to go by in diagnostics, because it's what the PCM goes by in diagnosing, diagnosing whether we have a rich or lean condition worthy of turning the light on.